Alright guys, now I'm going to show you something here, uh, what we're going to end up doing is, if you can see here, uh, this diagram shows that we need two relays, so we need one for the keyed power source uh, fuse box, uh, and then uh, we're going to need one for the uh, fuel pump. So, well, here's here's my diagram. What I'm going to do is, uh, these are the colors of my 30 amp uh, fuse. Let me turn, or I'm sorry, relay. It's uh, right there. These are the colors of the wires. I got blue, white, yellow, black. And I've drawn a diagram here. And what's going to happen is, we're going to take our number 87, which is my yellow wire. That's going to go to my 12 volt key on power. It means when I turn the key on, this side, all my injectors will get power. So it's going to run to this stud right here. Uh, when I turn it on, it'll feed every one of these, every prong. All right. The white wire is going to be my ground, which is pin 85 pin 30 is my blue wire that will run straight to the positive on the battery I'll have a fuse in between here 86 which is my black wire I'm going to run that to my old distributor wire uh, that way when I, I know when I turn that on that distributor wire has 12 volt key on so that's what I'll use if you're going to do a fuel pump it's basically the same way. You will use the fuel pump wire coming from your harness. That will come to the 86 pin, which is the black wire. It will run from there to go 87 pin, which is yellow. That will go to the, the hot side on your fuel pump wire. Alright. The white wire, ground. Blue wire, or ground is your uh, 85 pin. Blue wire. 30 pin will come to a fuse to the battery. Keep your fuse as close to the battery. Uh, it's safer that way, but uh, I would recommend putting the fuse as close to the battery for each relay. Uh, that way it'll blow the fuse before it blows your relay. So that is essentially how I'm doing mine. Mine will be sitting close to each other. So again, as you can see, my ground wire is my white wire. On both of them what I'll do is let me set this down here if I can I'm gonna tie both of my ground wires together from both relays I'll just solder them together um, I'll have a hot coming down um, from my uh, battery to each one of the relays which is the number th 30 pin there'll be two fuses so I just wanted to try to help whoever doesn't know how to do a relay. Uh, that is a, a good video. So what I'm going to do now is I'll get my fuel pump wire out of here, out of my harness, which is, uh, let's see, I think it's, uh, I'll find it real quick, right there, which will be right here, fuel relay uh, B7 which was in the factory uh, fuse box plug that was uh remember I told you that it, they were they were labeled let me show you here now remember this is a green wire with a white stripe so what we're going to do is go find B7, so uh, let me get you focused in here. All right, this is this is row A, B, C, D, E, F. Go to B, come down seven spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there. That was the wire that was ran to the factory uh, fuse box. So. That's what we're going to use.
it will run to the 86 pin. Uh, let me get that wire out of the way, which will be my black wire. So I'll solder my black wire onto my fuel pump relay wire. And that is basically, it's the same way uh, that you would do a fan also. Uh, I think we have fan relays on here. Let me see. Yeah, see here's fan number one relay. Uh, that would run to, ah, let me get it right here. That run to pin 86, which is the black. And then pin 87, you would run that to the hot wire on your fan. All right, guys, um, let me get this done and we will come back. All right, guys, what I've done here is uh, I took my blue wires, which is gonna be the number 30 pin. I've got them linked together, soldered them together, then I soldered a heavy duty uh, hot wire the white wire, which is the 85 pin. I link those together, and though that is run to a heavy uh, black wire. I've got some wire loom on here. I'll slide it up, cover all this up. And what I'll end up doing is close to where the battery hooks up, I'll put a, uh, a fuse, probably about right here and then it'll give me that much to hook to the battery. Uh, this wire will be shortened, but that is pretty much how you get your power uh, and your ground to the relays. Now what I'll do with my white, or my, I'm sorry, my black and my yellow wire, the black is gonna go to the uh, fuel pump relay wire from the, P from the PCM uh, black will also go from or to uh, let me let me straighten this wire out right here. Black will also go on this one. Will go to my old distributor wire. Yellow is going to go to my fuse right here. This yellow will run over to my fuel pump when I get one. So that's how you wire your relays up. I will, uh, I'll build a uh, metal plate for all of this, for my new uh, fuse box to uh, mount to. Uh, it'll have the relays with it. So it will all be tucked away. I do have a check engine light. Uh, let's see, it's somewhere right here check engine light right there it'll wire into it and then the yellow one is my ground i can just ground that to the body uh, this one is made to flash whenever my check engine light comes on it'll be flashing so that's how you work your relays uh, let me get all mine finished set up and we'll come back all right guys i've got this custom box right here that i'm using i guess you could say uh, that's a whole new definition for fuse box. It uh, used to have poker chips in it, but I'm using it for a fuse box. And on the side over here, I mounted my relays for my key powered and my fuel pump. Uh, I've already got the hot and the ground linked together, ran in this wire loom back here. Uh, what I just did just now was I ran my key on power uh, that's going to hook up to my um, ignition wire which will be what I'm going to use for ignition wire is going to be my old uh, distributor wire uh, as you can see I've done soldered it on here now I'm just going to slide my heat shrink over it and we're going to heat shrink a little bit of it right here I've got a little propane torch and all you do is just Hit it just a little bit, just enough to get the shrink around there. Twist it, make sure it's all good over on this side. Go 
ahead and shrink it up a little bit over on this side too. And that'll take care of that. As you can see, it, uh, it shrunk pretty good on there. I'm happy with it. So, yeah. Uh, this wire will go to my, uh, like I said, my old distributor wire. The wires in this loom, I have labeled down there. Uh, that'll hook up to the battery, the positive and the negative. That will give hot and ground to these relays. Uh, let's see what else I have been labeling everything uh, as you can see I have my wire already running right here and it runs under I will uh, let me shut this little propane torch off here uh, I've got screws sticking out but uh, I'll grind those off I've got my wire ran for my uh, fuse box runs into there. Those are all my uh, other wires that's going to run to the fuse that's running in the fuse box, rather. And if we open this up, you'll see I've got a constant power over on this side. This is uh, for the this one is for the uh, ODB port. This one will be for the uh, PCM. You have to have a constant power to the PCM. And I've got all my coils and my map sensors, uh, injectors. And then in the middle, I have my main power, which is, uh, it started out as a pink, or a red, I'm sorry. 12-volt uh, keyed power. And that's the one that runs to this, oh, let me find it, this yellow wire on the bottom of my relay here for the keyed power side. As you can see and then on the fuel pump side I will run from the excuse me from the yellow it's gonna go to my fuel pump the uh, I'm getting confused here oh the black on the fuel pump side uh, which is pin number 86 will run to the fuel pump wire on the uh, wiring harness. Yellow is going to be pin number 87. That'll run straight to the fuel pump itself. But uh, I hope this is helping you all. Um, tell me what you think. Um, I hope you all like it and enjoy it uh, as much as, to be honest with you, I'm enjoying doing this. It is quite a bit of work. But uh, I'm not going to complain because, for one, I'm getting the knowledge. And for two, I'm saving myself some more money that I could put into the project somewhere else. But the top of my fuse box is going to look like that. Uh, I'll have me a Chevy Simum on it. But, uh, yeah, uh, we will uh, continue this in another uh Part of this video uh, I'll be going through the harness and straighten it all up uh, getting a getting it taped up where each plug is gonna go uh, on your ODB port um, I've already ran the orange wire that's a constant power that's the one I was talking about that's in there it runs to the constant power side uh, let me spin you around here one more time and I'll show you this fuse box here is going to be my key on source which means when i turn my key on all of these wires will have power this side over here is going to be my constant power which means it's going to have 12 volts running to it all the time so yeah uh, i'll get some labels made and uh put down here or i'll custom hand paint some but that's how it's going to work uh, 